Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is responsible for some of the biggest hits in film and television, including Happy Days and Pretty Woman. His newest play, Wrong Turn at Lungfish, uh, opened here in New York City, off-Broadway, Sunday night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program writer-director Gary Marshall. Gary! <laughs> Gary, let me ask you something. Did you ever, did you ever kill a guy? No. <laughs> no, I don't do those kind of shows. What, you know who we had on the program last night was uh, well, your uh, co-star, your, the lovely... Uh, Jamie Gertz. That's right. That's exactly, right. yeah. Yes. What is it like for you uh, directing George C. Scott, Jamie Gertz, and uh, Tony Danza? Well, George C. Scott has done 75 plays, so you, he likes you to refer to him as General Patton. Mm -hmm. Please walk over here, General. But he's done so many plays that, you know, he, he's done it all. He, he was telling me a story. He once closed the play during intermission. Really, oh. he was, true, he was directing the play, and it wasn't going well, and uh, he was in it, and the, the audience was booing, and they were walking out. <laughs> and he came out at intermission. He said, folks, this is not going well. I'm closing the play. And that was the end of the play. I came close. I, did it. I closed one after three nights in 19... Oh, what a heartbreak. Three, three nights. nights. Yeah, well, you got to do that many nights, I think, sometime for the insurance or something. <laughs> but it was, it was called The Roast. And, uh, I remember The Roast. It a was trivia like in the early 80s, right? Yes, a yeah. trivia question. We closed, and a new play came in. And mm -hmm. we made fun. Ha, ha, look at this one. Yeah. It was called Cat. Cats, about pussy cats. Yeah. True, honest. It will never last. That was the, we were the play before Cats. Yeah. Cats is now still playing I'm in here with Lungfish. So Cat it's a circle. <laughs> a circle. Cats is, is uh, everybody's favorite uh, Broadway play, isn't it? About pussy cats, yes. Yeah. It has a little bit about T.S. Eliot, too. So in my plays, also a little bit about T.S. Eliot. Uh, I followed the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, you're, when you're directing, whether it's uh, movies or whether it's a stage, uh, or you know, whether you're just ordering lunch, do you... <laughs> Do you ever do, that? Do, you, do, you, do you have a do you ever get angry? Do you ever lose your temper? It seems to me like it would be impossible not to. Well, if you lose your temper these days, you see lawyers show up yeah. like that. They sure. come out of the room. Right. So you got to be careful. Well, I haven't. I don't lose it too much on the set. I must say, once in a while, I lose it uh, in my personal life. Yeah. I, the last time I really lost it, you want to know the truth? Was at Disneyland. That's the last time I. How told. how on earth? It was a bad day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We went there, I have three kids, we went there, 110 degrees heat, and my wife brought her, her uh, sister, a very sexy 19-year-old. Now, you know, when you walk around Disneyland, there's those characters, Donald Duck, yeah. Mickey Mouse, the Seven Dwarfs. Pauly Shore. Pauly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they got those characters, it's not really them. That's you know, right. It's not really the dwarfs, it's uh, college kids in the costumes, yeah. right? So we're walking around, so the guy in Donald Duck, the Donald Duck guy, took a liking to my sister-in-law, right? <laughs> True. So he's like maneuvering around, he's like pinning her against fences. And, <laughs> My wife is saying, do you see what the duck is doing to the lawyer? You're watching this? Go talk to him. So now I'm walking over, the, sweating to talk to the duck. And it's, they're short, but so the kids, the college kids, this is true. The college kids' face is in the hat, so you got to talk to the hat of the duck. So I said, hello, uh, mister. I was being polite. Listen, you want to leave her alone? He said, get away from me, you jerk. Yeah. Not nice language no. from a duck. This is a, a, a pleasant thing. So I said, come on, come on. You know, I cool it. I was trying to be cool. Don't leave her alone. And he says, come on, get out of my way. I think, who knows, maybe the heat got to him. Yeah. So he says, no, get out of my way. Yeah. And he took one of his, you know, they don't have arms. No, they, they have two the wings. wings. Yeah. They do. Took one of the wings. He, he went like this. He hit me like, he gave me a shot. So reflex, I pushed him. I yeah. gave him a push. Yeah. Well, out of the woods came the seven dwarfs. They all came. Yeah. Everybody ran. It was terrible. Snow White called me a moron. I mean, this is not a... Uh, no. They, and everybody got mad. Kids said, that man hit Donald Duck. They took me away. Too <laughs> sorry I went to the office. Years later, that's how I got even. Years later, at Disney, I made Pretty Woman, uh -huh. the highest grossing picture at Disney. And somewhere, Walt is rolling over saying, my highest grossing picture is about a prostitute. This is what, <laughs> this is how I made, made friends with that. Did, no, but that's true. That's what I, lo I lost you, it with a Did dog. they take you to the office someplace and shake you down or well, throw they, you they off the Well, they took me. Or? Now my three kids are watching like this. Look, they're taking daddy. Hit Donald Duck. There goes daddy. 
<laughs> fight with a duck. Picking a fight. <laughs> and they said, uh, what are you causing trouble for, sir? And yeah. I said, well, I work. I didn't want to say my name, to be honest. We you know, you've, you've had a, a, an amazing uh, a career, and it's a wonder you haven't done time after that episode. But <laughs> I mean, the, the television shows that you've been involved with, I mean, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, The Odd Couple, Happy Days, uh, Laverne and Shirley, on and on and on and on. And then also now, this uh, the later, more recent part of your career, these unbelievably successful motion pictures. Uh, and and the, the, I guess the TV shows will be on forever. Well, they run good. They run all over the world. Yeah. And, uh, I'm very, you know, I get cards from people. But, you know, when they run around the world, they get different. They adjust to the country they're in. My they favorite, adapt to the culture somehow. Yes. My, my favorite story about Laverne Shirley is Laverne Shirley's all over. When it went to Thailand, right, mm -hmm. they, uh, they don't like in that country girls to go out and get their own apartment, which mm -hmm. Laverne Shirley had. Well, I'm not crazy about it either, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to see that. But, because the next thing you know, ducks are bothering them. <laughs> But, so, and they don't like girls talk, who talk fresh like Laverne Shirley yeah. did. So, but they loved the show. So in Thailand, the show played like any normal show, but there was a, a disclaimer at the beginning. It said, these two girls are from the insane asylum. <laughs> this is what they wrote. And it went right across the bottom of the screen. That way, they figured none of their women would copy. <laughs> who wants to copy them? They're from the insane asylum. You know? So it said, this is a cultural adjustment. They made. True story. And, and the show is very successful there. It was very good. Ah. Ah, that's goofy. That really is. Let's uh, let us do a commercial. We'll be back here with Gary Marshall. A real treat to have you on the program. You're a, a delightful and very, very funny man. And congratulations. I understand you have a wedding anniversary coming up? 30 years. Congratulations yes. to you. <laughs> Continued success with everything you do, and uh, good luck with the, the play over there. Uh, right fish, wrong turn. Wrong turn, wrong at, wrong turn lungfish. at lungfish. lungfish. There you An go. animal that catches nothing in its mouth. Yeah. Uh, my thanks also to uh, Polly Shore and, of course, Mr. Zoo and Jack Hanna. We'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Thank you very much. Bye.